Hi viewers, welcome to Pharmacy B. In this video, I am going to talk about two medical terms that are used synonymously but are different conditions. Before I start, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe to Pharmacy B and press the bell icon to stay updated with our informative videos. People often use terms heart attack and cardiac arrest interchangeably, but they are not synonymous. A heart attack is when blood flow to the heart is blocked and sudden cardiac arrest is when the heart malfunctions and suddenly stops beating unexpectedly. A heart attack is a circulation problem and sudden cardiac arrest is an electrical problem. For better understanding, let us discuss these terms one by one in detail. So what is a heart attack? A heart attack occurs when a blocked artery prevents oxygen-rich blood from reaching a section of the heart. If the blocked artery is not reopened quickly, the part of the heart normally nourished by that artery begins to die. The longer a person goes without treatment, the greater the damage. Symptoms of a heart attack may be immediate and intense. More often, though symptoms start slowly and persist for hours, days, or weeks before a heart attack, unlike with sudden cardiac arrest, the heart usually does not stop beating during a heart attack. The heart attack symptoms in women can be different than men. The general symptoms of heart attack are chest pain or discomfort, feeling weak, lightheaded or faint, pain or discomfort in the jaws, neck or back, pain or discomfort in both arms or shoulders, and shortness of breath. Now what is a cardiac arrest? Cardiac arrest occurs suddenly and often without warning. It is triggered by an electrical malfunction in the heart that causes an irregular heartbeat arrhythmia with its pumping action disrupted. The heart cannot pump blood to the brain, lungs, and other organs. Seconds later, a person loses consciousness and has no pulse. Death occurs within minutes if the victim does not receive treatment. Signs and symptoms of sudden cardiac arrest are immediate and drastic and include sudden collapse with no pulse. You must see a doctor as soon as possible if you experience the following conditions. Chest pain or discomfort, heart palpitations, rapid or irregular heartbeats, unexplained wheezing, shortness of breath, fainting or near fainting, lightheadedness or dizziness. These two distinct heart conditions are linked to each other. That is why most of the time people get confused between these two conditions. So what is the link? Sudden cardiac arrest can occur after a heart attack or during recovery. Heart attacks increase the risk for sudden cardiac arrest. Most heart attacks do not lead to sudden cardiac arrest, but when sudden cardiac arrest occurs, heart attack is a common cause. Other heart conditions may also disrupt the heart's rhythm and lead to sudden cardiac arrest. These include a thickened heart muscle, cardiomyopathy, heart failure, arrhythmias, particularly ventricular fibrillation, and long QT syndrome. Now the question arises, what to do in such situation? Even if you are not sure it's a heart attack or cardiac arrest, call for emergency medical service. Cardiac arrest is reversible in most victims if it's treated within a few minutes. First, call for emergency medical services, then get an automated external defibrillator if one is available and use it as soon as it arrives. Begin CPR immediately and continue until professional emergency medical services arrive. So that's all about cardiac arrest and heart attack. I hope you get their differences. And if you like this video, please share it with your friends and keep watching Pharmacy D. Thank you.